after the first part of this video, you know, the LP of 40 Winks, and, you know, after a little incident that happened on Twitter, I went to go search for some more info on 40 Winks if I could. And, uh, since I couldn't find anything on the Google search, I decided to go on Google Images, because, you know, I'm pretty sure you can find something on there. And while I did find Crystal Fish's first part in a fucking thumbnail, I did find something rather interesting about 40 Wings that I didn't even know happened. I mean, I'm going to explain what it is. Basically, on the PS1, when it comes to PS1 games, if you're lucky, you can actually find a rare instance of a game with a different case being published by someone else that like you don't even know actually published it. It's rather weird, but it's rather rare, too. There have also been incident, in, in, instances where, believe it or not, there have actually been double games, or triple games, or even a collection of games with bundled with controllers and all sorts of crazy shit. Lilo and Stitch and all that. Including Rayman and Tomb Raider and all that. There have been a lot of special editions and special little, you know, prizes with these games that you could find. And these were rare to find, too. The, the rarest thing is finding a cover that actually has a name and a goddamn publisher that is... So different from what you can actually find. Something that you will naturally think of, you know, being a publisher for this game. This is where I bring up 40 Winks. Because thanks to a site that I looked up, I actually found these off just looking around the site, hoping to find something on 40 Winks. They did have some things on 40 Winks that I found surprising as shit. There was a picture for one of them in which, surprisingly, it didn't have the back that it usually had. It didn't have a certain line. The line was on the back and even on the front, on the front mainly, was a quote from Nintendo's official magazine saying, Move over Mario. That one was amazing. And it was mainly because of the fact that 40 Winks was also going to be for Nintendo 64. However, even though it was almost complete, and even though a review was made by Nintendo Official Magazine, that version got cancelled. Sucks for them, really. But... They did have to change it, right? I mean, they couldn't keep that little message there. They didn't have the rights to even have that message anymore because they weren't part of Nintendo. Well, they did indeed change it because apparently, later on, the, the front cover does not say that. Instead, it says, featuring rough and tumble. So, yeah, they got rid of that. They also changed the back as well, where it says, fight as a ninja, transform into a robot, or a monster. Notice that's the tagline, and if you can just see from the cuts, the little screenshots on the back cover, you'll notice that, uh, Tumble isn't in anywhere. I mean, you can see Rough perfectly, I mean, they basically explained about the ninja thing, and of course they give you, like, the two moves that he has. They even show you him as a ninja in the corner of the fucking cover. But notice it's mainly just rough, which tells me that even the game developers, or the publishers, only played as rough throughout the entire game. They never played as tumble. Which is weird. And foreshadowing. But enough about that. You want to know exactly what the fuck's going on with the covers. You know, the front covers. Well, here is the 40 Winks front cover right now. The one that was changed to get rid of the little quote from Nintendo Official Magazine. As you can see, it's pretty normal. I mean, you see the alien on the right, you see the skeleton on the left of the Cutlass. You see the castle, which looks really weird. 
you see our main villain's face in the sky, and you see our two iconical fucking heroes right down there, one of them the candle, and the other one ready for some kung fu action. Now, while this is the actual cover of the game, as you can see, it even has the actual publishers of the game right in the corner there. That is not actually the only cover of the game. I don't know if these are unofficial or if these are just from different, you know, publishers, you know, for the, for the rights and all. But uh, here's the other covers. You got 40 Winks, Dream Story, and Rough and Tumble. I'm not even kidding there. Rough and Tumble. <laughs> Why the fuck? Is the name of the characters the title? Let's just start with the first one. Dream Story. Which was published, apparently, by TFI Video Multimedia. Even though the actual publishers of the game are still in the corner. You'll also notice that the language of the adventures of Rough and Tumble on the bottom is in a different language. I don't really know what language it is, I'm sorry, but I will say this. The next one, the one after, the rough and tumble one, is actually Russian. Even though it looks English, it's Russian. I'll explain why later. I actually searched up TFI Video Multimedia, and you know what I found about them? Fuck all. There's nothing about these guys on the internet. Nothing. I have searched everywhere on the internet. I've searched on the images. I've searched on the search. I've searched in fucking videos on YouTube and all for anything on TF5 Video Multimedia. And there is nothing about these guys. So I don't know why the sticker is here. But this is pretty interesting. I mean, it's not called 40 Winks. It's called Dream Story. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, this is a dream, apparently. We They're asleep and... You know, this is all in their minds, but... Yeah, it's... It's kind of weird. But that's nothing compared to Rough and Tumble. Which apparently has a bit of the cover cut out with the logo of this develop... This publisher, I mean. Build Interactive. Again, the actual publishers are in the corner, as you can see. But these guys take about... Uh, let's see, about... 20% of the cover and have blanked it out completely and have made the title smaller in a different spot. You can even see that a bit of the main villain's chin is in the cover, but the rest of his face is gone. That is fucking hilarious. And you want to know something else? I did find some shit about Build Interactive. I found him on IGN, on G4 TV, and guess what? They have fuck all. Yeah. I mean, there is a little bit about them. For instance, that it is actually a game publishing label from the German daily newspaper, Bild. And there is quite a lot about Bild, but I'm not going to be talking about them. I'm talking about their interactive title. And they did indeed publish a game. Not this game, but another game. This game was developed by Software 2000. It was a PC game, and it is called Bundesliga Manager X. It is a soccer game. And wow, it is the only game ever on these two sites. I have checked both of them, and the only game they apparently published or made was only Bundesliga Manager X. So, uh, does that mean this does not exist? I mean, it looks real. I don't see how you can make this shit up. I don't even see how you can make the rough and tumble tile look fucking authentic like that. But, there you go. <laughs> Apparently, in Russia, Build Interactive actually published rough and tumble. 40 winks. But they renamed it Rough and Tumble for some unknown reason. Because I can't find anything about Rough and Tumble anywhere on the internet. 
Now, I would, you know, interview Build on why exactly they published this and all, but one problem. I can't understand or speak Russian at all. So, uh, I can't do that. <laughs> I can't. I can't figure out why they decided to change it from 40 Wings Rough and Tumble. And I don't know why they even cut out a bunch of the fucking cover like that, but... Hey. At least we know there were more publishers than one. Though one question does phase me. If these two people are the publishers for these covers... How come this logo is still in the corner? You'd think they remove it because they're not the ones that publish these covers, right? I mean, Build Interactive and the other fuckers did this, and I don't think these guys even knew anything about this. So there's a lot of questions about these two covers. There's also more questions about the history of these two publishers. Mainly fucking Build Interactive, because... I'm actually curious on what the hell Bundesliga Manager X is about. The other one, they have nothing on the internet, so I can't figure out fucking anything about these guys, but... Yeah, there's, there's a bit of history on 40 Winks for you, and it's actually pretty interesting to see. I didn't even know this even existed. There you go. So... Now that we're done having the history lesson of 40 Winks of the covers and all, and the different publishers, which was really surprising, now I'm going to swap over and give you guys this. And thus we begin part 2, or level 2, and level 3 of this game. As you can see, I'm still rough, not tumble. I might switch to Tumble for level 3 though, you know, just so we can check her out a bit more. Hey witch. So let's begin. This is the graveyard. I forgot the actual name of the fucking thing, but don't worry, it's the graveyard. I'm sure it'll pop up in the <laughs> thumbnail. We'll see the uh, third level in the third part. Yes, hopefully I will be playing as Tumble on that one, just so I can, you know, show off for more than just one fucking reason. Huh. That's weird, there should be like a third... Whatever. Now there's a trick to being the zombies real fast without having to get hit. You could just go one, two, three, one, two, three, and then one. But, go one, and then go one, two, three, one, two, three. And they will die before they even lay on the front and kill you. Right. They will not have a chance to attack you, and it's pretty much perfect. You have to kill all of them to actually get the gears, and uh, also, there was a dream key. Shit. Sometimes the uh, attacks don't work. Like that. I don't know why they do that. I'm gonna waste spiders. In case you're wondering, yes, I'm still playing on hard difficulty. It did not go easy. Okay, these bats, I don't know how to kill them. I don't think you can kill them. Just run away from them. No fuck off, fire. There's some RT tokens here. Now, I could be able to jump over this, but uh, invisible walls can't. Sucks. Go over here. And boom, some items appeared, and so is a dream key. We got moon. Two moon. We got free moon. 
feel like a change? Yes, I do. What's in the Jack in the Box? It is the Caveman. All right, I best explain the Caveman. Caveman sucks. Caveman sucks. Like he has one useful move, but Caveman mainly sucks. As you can see, his little stomp does not increase in damage. His attacks do not increase in damage. He has an area effect, but uh, it's worse than, you know, the Jester's area effect weapon. What you're about to see here is as surprising as it is for me, as it is for you. Now, some sources like Wikipedia and such have said that the caveman, the jester, and the robot are only rough. But once you see what's in this box, you'll find that Wikipedia really does say a lot of bullshit and really does lie. Because Tumble can also be a fucking caveman or cave woman. And if you're wondering what her spit power is like, it's throwing up bones. Aside from that, no different from Ruff being a caveman. Really slow, doesn't really increase power that much. And only useful for stomps. Now, this guy's annoying. All I can say is keep attacking him. I have nothing else aside from that. If he shoots laser beams at you, you're fucked. You gotta take those hits. But, yeah, just keep spamming, attacking him, and he'll die after about a few hits. Don't bother stomping on him, he's too high. Now, there's a token up here which I can get as the caveman. Now this token actually responds after a few seconds, so let's come back and uh, we can get the token again. Now this guy I fucking hate. First off, he takes a lot of hits, and this is me just firing him normally, like the way that the careers want me to. You know, without using my little moves. Now, I'm not really going to use my moons because of the fact that it's not exactly that useful. Did it. See, that took a while. And he gives you like three moons. There is another way you can fight him though. And it saves time. I'll show you that attack as tumble. Here's the other way you can beat this guy. You use your powers. This is very wasteful though, and I would not recommend this. Especially since it takes a lot of time and a lot of waiting, and you'll still get hit a lot. Don't worry, your scream does as much damage as just, you know, normally attacking. So yeah, after that many attacks, you'll quickly kill it, but uh, you'll waste a lot of moon power, and you do not want to waste moon power, so... I don't recommend this one because you're gonna need the moon a lot more in later levels than you'll need it here. So I actually do recommend just fighting him with your fists. Especially since you're gonna take a lot more damage doing this than you would just fighting him normally. So yeah, that's pretty useful, huh? Not really. Oh, I forgot. That shit harms you. Yeah, don't touch explosives. <laughs> right. So we can go here, but uh we can't do anything. I mean, we can collect these, 
But, uh, there's nothing here. That's because of this ground. This is where we need the caveman, and it's the only useful use of the caveman. It doesn't suck. His stomps can actually destroy the ground, and by the way, that appeared again. You need him to destroy the ground at times when you can destroy a certain part of the ground. Because that's required. So, if you don't have the power up, then you have to go all the way back here, get in the box, become the caveman, and then go all the way back. Oh, don't worry, this is not the most annoying part of the game. Oh, no, no, no. Backtracking's bad, but trust me, it's, it's just nothing compared to what will be next in the game. Anyway. <sighs> I believe this is the last time we see the RT, and if you just saw, it's a dream key. And if you also saw, zombies. Now, as you just saw, his attacks are a bit, you know, stronger, but not by much. Because uh, these zombies go down in seven hits normally, while as the cavemen, they go down in six. So, basically, fuck all. Anyway. Let's stomp the ground while we still have time. My body. Right. We don't need him anymore anyway. So let's cut these items and get the first wink. Now where do we go? Let's see, we got 20 gears. What was down this way, though? Because, there, yeah, there was this opening here. Oh, perfect. But we need 30, and we only have 26. Hmm. Where could the other four be, then? Let's have a look around. Nothing here. Nothing over here. Oh, yep, full damage. Mm, you already went through here, so there's nothing here. What about back over here? Do we miss anything? Doesn't seem like it. Ah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> you might have noticed that uh, this guy did not appear until after I went near the graves. And now I'm dead. Don't worry, I got four lives. And there's checkpoints, so you know. Thank God for checkpoints. Right, so as you just saw, there's a gear. Yeah, okay, he's gonna take a bunch of hits again. Okay, what about this grave? Yep. Let's do my little trickery dickery. Um, oh, there we go. It didn't hit him. Come over here. Okay, dead. Did it! We got 30 now. So, let's go back and, uh... Go to that area that we couldn't get to before. Because there's nothing else here. We've, we've done everything. 
And as far as I know, there's no secrets in this level, so... Yep. A teleporter to another area. Some more items. And... Okay, it's my left. Uh-oh. Ghosts. Ah, oh, crap. They're everywhere. Uh... Oh, God. What's in here? Maybe something good. Yep, it's the ninja. Now, both Ruff and Tumble have the ninja. And the ninja is really good. For one... He doesn't have a delay, and he attacks a lot. The only problem is he's weaker. He's, uh, not very strong compared to being normal. To be honest, now that I'm playing as Ninja, after playing a bit more of the Joker, I think... I think the Ninja is just second best in this game. Yeah. This does well. There, I killed all the ghosts. Get in the box. Ah, fucker. Eh, might as well show you Tumble as a ninja. And here we go. You want to see her as a ninja? Uh, hang on, let me just get out of my caveman and get attacked by a fucking ghost. And... Boom! This looks a lot more awesome than rough. Look at this. Fucking staff bow. Her design's a lot better too. And it's not very bland or anything. Let's kick ass. But, just like Ruff, attacks are very weak, but she is very fast. And that's about it with her as a ninja. Okay, I guess there is something a bit different between Ruff and Tumble as the ninja. With Ruff, his attacks are basically like four or five hits. But with Tumble... Yeah. At best, it's either three hits or four. Like that. That's the max I can get with her. I have not been able to get five hits, so... Even though she looks cooler than Ruff, she's actually worse than Ruff as a ninja. Go figure. And that was Tumble as a ninja. And there's not a ghost. But we're not going to fight him because there's no point. And so we just collect these items and then we're going to go this way after I have more ninja power. Right. Where's it? Nah, it's this way. So now we're in the sewers. Stand right here and... Yeah, we should just get all the items like that. Uh. It's best when you actually get them across the wall when you attack them. So I do get stunned. Right. What's this way? It's Frankenstein. See what I mean when I say get them to the wall and you can basically wreck hell on them? I 
I just wish he was stronger, that way I can kill this guy faster. Well, whatever. Ah. Fucking spiders. Damn it. Right. Yep. Infinite spawning spiders. Run. Just collect the items now. At least Frankenstein has not come back. We just got a blue Frankenstein. Who is really no different to the other Frankenstein. Yeah, he still does that. Still goes down pretty easily when you get him across the wall. Right. Just so now we got about 40 gears. Oh yeah, if you are the ninja, you can do that move. Which is actually kind of cool. So you don't have a scream, you do like a fucking... Spinning Hadouken. Anyway. Let's go back in the box and, well, go to this other room now that we have 40 gears. Which is an elevator. What's behind here? Nothing? Alright. Let's go down. Whoa. There's some items here. This takes us back up here. Let's go power up our ninja ability again. Because I don't think there's going to be any of those items that keeps this timer fueled up. I think I'm going to need the ninja for what's ever down there. Yeah. Yeah. I knew there'd be something down oh, Fucking full damage. Oh, he spawned! Alright. Bastard. You're almost dead. Done. That's the next hoodwink. And that's it. Let's leave. So we've done pretty well so far. We now have four green dream keys. All that's left is four red dream keys and we can enter the next world. And so far, we've collected about four hoodwinks. So we're about 10% done. So as the witch laughs, move over to this level. The Witchway Woods. And what was this level again? The one we just did? Creepy Crawly Cemetery. So yeah, I was right. It was a fucking cemetery. A graveyard. But next time, Which Way Woods? Which I'll be playing as Tumble. See you next time.